YouTube, welcome to January Self Employed Blog. Uh, however, you'd expect a bit of starters have a bubble, wouldn't you? But it's not, this is the end. No, it's not. That's wrong. What the fuck am I on about? I'll start again. It is the 30th of January, and I've just driven to Scotland to do a call out. I'll be up here in a couple of days. So, my nice couple of days in the office today and tomorrow, where I was going to edit this video, are fucked. Now, I've assembled the first half of the video, which you're going to watch now. I'm going to split this one into two parts and I'll put the other half out next week. That's because I just won't physically have time to put it out. And all the way through this video towards the end, you'll start here with talking about how much stuff's going off and after this video is really long. So it just seems a decent idea to split it into two. This week is the first half of January. Next week's the first half of January. It's been busy. There's been a lot going off. I think there's some good content here for business people. That's six of you that'll actually enjoy it. So yeah, I'll split it into two. Enjoy. It's January. And I'll see you next week for the second part as well. Enjoy. And if you don't like it, put in the content, comment what a silly fat prick I am. See you later. Hey, self and plug blog. It's the 3rd of January. I've been back away for two days. I'm just going to post my last weekly video. Ta-da. I did that for real. I said, oh, fuck off. Whoever you are. Last weekly video's up. Might put one out weekly, who knows? But that's the last one I'm saying I'm going to do one weekly. So, uh, welcome to January. Let me take you around the office and show you what I've been doing. I've been doing some real fucking finicky shit, which I hope is going to save me some money. Let me show you around. Welcome to 2025 as well. You fucking prick. It's Friday night, it's dark outside. We've had enough time off, you know what I mean? The, uh, the house has been dropping down. Let me show you what I've been up to. So, here's the... Uh, is the... Um, I should have done you the other way, actually. Let me turn you around. One second, I'll turn you around. It's not it's essential to see my face. Here's the meter. This is the this was the mock-up. This was the first mock-up. Now it's the pre-production, which means basically they all look like this. Everything that's on here is as it is on the real meters. Apart from the labels are a bit different, so I changed them. So if I want to try anything, I try on here. For example, look, I stuck a bit of sticker on there. And that bit of sticker on there that's stuck on it is stuck there to see if the sticker will stick. Sounds stupid, but last thing you want to do is when you make a load of these stickers on the sticky paper I've got, is for the stickers to just fall off because they don't stick anyway. That sticker does stick, so I'll be making it of them. And that's a little label that goes in there that gives you the serial number, focus, CT size, the location, and the Modbus address. So, again, making them, making that label took two hours to lay it all out and that and get it all ready and check the label fit. So, all that was done here, and they'll all be produced in advanced so i ain't got to go to site right and then in pen it's all already done so that little pre-production idea it went from prototype to pre-production is good we're coming to here there's some stuff that's going over that job just to mock up some stuff everything i'm doing on site has been trialed here so we'll trial the data cable there's my analyzer it's a bit tidier in here now because they're the ones they're the first tranche they're the ones that are going out first they've got to be finalized but that's gonna happen next week i'm just waiting for a few final bits to come like the meters you'll see this meat is missing so they will be made and qc'd as the first tranche ready to go out starting next week that's what's going to happen with them there's all the paperwork that's required for the job that's there that's all been checked and tested a few cts from the trial that are there uh, i've got some cable to do on some cts there to trial them that's the production one meter they're waiting for bits they're waiting for meters all these ones are just waiting for meters then ones there are waiting for some other bits. The cables for the job. I've got these trays. These are my on-the-job trays. So all the stuff for this job that's going out on this job is in these trays. And these trays will go out on site with me um, with a set of li other little trays. So basically, to get out on site, you need those. And those trays and them drums of cables. And the bag of tools for the job and you've got it all done. As I said previously, it's so fucking easy to go from here, measure a meet and make a label, do the job. So hopefully, all be my. Oh, I've got another thing I'm really proud of. Let me show you one second. Let me show you this. I, I really like this. It's a good little time saver. Anyone who's ever fitted a box like this will know that you can never mark these out and then get marks with all that shit. And they're quite deep anyway. Today I went and got the nuts and bolts that are over there specifically for this job. I need to try them actually. I made this. This is a meter box drum template. You just stick that to the panel where it's going to go. It's got the outline of the box. You level it off using one of the lines in the spirit level. You check that that is in centimeters. And then here, lot, there's a cross. You drill and tap on that cross, that cross, that cross, and this meter will fit straight on. So I made my own template to make it so much easier. With this box now, I'm going to add, in fact, I'll leave this one out so I remember to do it on Monday morning. I'm going to add the nuts and bolts to it. So in the box, there'll be 
the box, the lid, the panel, the CTs, the cables required, the ferrules required, the template you need, the serial number will be on it, and it will all just be done. All you've got to do is go to site, put that on, the, put that on, do your drilling, get that, then you can drill through them. Then when you drill through them, put bushes in there. That fits on top and exposes the bushes. You put your cable through, you can't take your fuck off. And it's fair to say, a lot of time has been spent here getting it to that stage. But that time could have been spent on site, fucking around. And it's not going to be. So I'm doing the first job probably next Wednesday. I'm, wait I'm literally waiting on the meetings now, the CTs. Everything I could have done has been done. And to get the CTs down, the meters down here, get the serial numbers off them, test them, put them on the database, take them outside and space screw them to a fucking wall. Click some CTs on, put some power to it and fuck off. It's just that fucking easy. So yeah, um, I just want to get out now and get them fucking banged on walls and that. But anyway, it's Friday night, it's about half past five and I'm going to go home now. But that's the uh, that's the start of January. Welcome. And you'll be seeing the, I'm gonna, the business blog is still the business blog. I'm not going to incorporate work into the business blog, but I don't think this is, this is like, it is work, but there's a lot of admin going off here. So I'm going to show more of this. Like our streamline things and make it a bit simpler, make it easier. Because if I had gone sight with all these bits, I'd still be there fucking now. So it's been strictly business for the past 12 months, but I think I'm going to go more into the admin side of it, the backroom side of it, what I do in the background. We've had that year of that format of me just talking about a business and building it up. I'm fucking established now. It's going to be a tough year. Let's talk more about Let's be more broad. I'm not going to show you how to fit a meter out like that, but I'm going to be a bit more broad on what I talk about and what I do in the background and show you more what goes off. Yeah, make it palatable for another year. So it'll be the same boring old shot I did last year. I'll tell you what, I'm going to add a bit as well. Like, I've just done all my books today. I, I've, I've been in the office all day. Most of the day, I went out to get some nuts and bolts earlier. I got my paper done and put into folders, which was nice. And um, I just want, I don't know if I said this last one, but I want to say it again. Yeah, it's worth remembering is, you know, now I've got my um, big book of paper for this job and it's really, really coming together now. Like, I'm, I'm literally getting ready to go out and and do the job. Just waiting on some meetings, which is fucking taking the piss, yeah? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, right, it can feel like you're doing nothing. But then you're like, well, fucking hell, these are all ready to go. All the 43 sites I've got to go to, 46 I've got to go to, I've just got to go to them and put them in. I've just literally got to go and screw it to the box, click the CTs around the cables, put power to it, and do the calibration. And I'm like, fucking hell, that's that's not actually a lot of the work. The majority, majority of the work is not the install. The calibration's quite, um, can get a bit cagey, but the majority of the work has been done. I'm like, that's fucking pretty cool. So admin time is never wasted. Yeah, well, you can fucking waste it. You can sit in here fucking cracking one off and eating quavers, couldn't you? But what I'm saying is, generally, prepping everything you possibly can before you get somewhere is never wasted time. But it has felt at times like I've been sat in here doing the most lamest bullshit. Like making those labels early. It's like, fucking hell, is this really relevant? And it's fucking, obviously it totally is. Because the customer's going to go to one of these and go, oh, it's got a serial number on it, CT ratios on it. Mod bus numbers on it, location was on it, there's a spreadsheet, all the terminal numbers are on it, it all looks neat and tidy, blah, 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 blah. They're going to look and go, yeah, it looks like he knows what he's doing. We'll just pay him. So, yeah, admin time on this job, especially with such a magnitude of things, as in the same thing over and over again, it has not been wasted. It's not like I put a fuse board up at a site where everyone's different. These have been designed from the onset and, and thought about from the onset to be as equal as they can. In fact, you've only got two options. You've got the ones that go in the box... And the ones that don't go in the box. And the only difference is the box. Because the one that doesn't go in a box goes in the box and becomes one that's in a box. So I spent a lot of time sorting that out and I'm really happy with that's turned out. So yeah, a bit boring to start the month off. But that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to make fucking money. And I make more money when I've got more time. If I don't waste time, I make more money. I do less work. It's a vicious circle of fucking dosting. Do you know how many multi meters I own? Do you know how many multimeters I actually own? And uh, in this office, which has got fucking shit everywhere, electrical stuff everywhere, do you know how many multimeters were here? Or GS38 testers, or anything that could test the voltage? Do you know how many of those things were here? None. I had to go all the way back home to get it. And it's not like I didn't know I needed it because I'm commissioning meters today. So, like, what a twat. Anyway, let me show you the setup here that's going off because we're commissioning some meters. And I'll show you how, what, what this is being done here. These are MIT meters, which means they can be used for selling electricity. They're connected up, but CTs are in, the fuses are in, voltages in, everything's in. The really weird bit with these meters is, when you turn them on, 
you've got 15 minutes to set the CT size and the parameters highlighted in green here. Because you don't highlight because once you've set these parameters here in green, that is it. There's no going back. You've got to return it and pay 20 quid to have it changed. Because obviously, if you change the CT ratio, you pay less for your electric. So the set we've got going up in here is we've got a uh my CT device here, which and I've to put a CT between these two wires, I'm supplying load. That's going three times around each one of these, each one of the CTs, which gives me about nine amps on each one it gives me about 30 amps on the three turns so i can check the current you'll see there the voltage is wrong because obviously it's not three phase it's single phase but now i can check all the cts i can program the meters because i turn the meter on do this list straight away otherwise it's game over yeah it's distribution there look for the meters enough cable to go around five sets of cts moving it along doing each one and then we bag them up and they go off to start this is the last thing after before they go to start the only other thing is some guy logs in and checks can see them on the comms so yeah, this is uh, how I don't get caught short on site because I don't want to be doing this on site. I've already had a couple of issues I've got to iron out this morning. So it's just, I can do all this kneeling here in front of five metres, sat here in front of five metres, so I've got a chair. But on site, I have to walk between all these and they're quite a few miles apart. So there we go. Bit of commissioning today. Here's your bit of actual electrical content for today. Yeah, that's a 600 to five set. And if I go on there, I can go across. You'll see that's reading about 30 amps 29.83 amps yeah this one's exactly the same but it's only reading 1.5 amps is it 1.5 amps and you get this all the time people go it's not working it's not working it's not working here's why it's not working over here on the ct connections yeah you'll see at the top you've got your s1 and your s2 and a earth yeah so in fact this one's the s1 which is the, the red this one's the s2 and this one's the earth the brown, sorry, the black S2 and the earth are linked via this linking block here that you'll see is green. This red linking block here is a shorting link because if you put the CTs around a cable and they're not shorted out, they create dangerous voltages. So yeah, you see it's reading 1.5 amps. If we take the shorting link out, which can leave in the bottom of the panel, but I've made it so you can park it here. See that now reads when we go across to the amps. 29 amps take this short and link out oops and park it there that one reads 29 amps that short and link out and park it there so now that's a winner oh 39 amps on that one what have we done there we've got the fucking twist wrong yeah i got the twist wrong so i've I, I stopped recording to set the cts up i've set the cts i've got the voltages right all my cts work all the short links are out just wait for the guy at the minute he's logging in on the comms to check that they are contactable. He's seen the test meter, which lives in there. Cable comes on there because to these. He's just going to look for them now. Once he's seen them, that's it. Bag them, put them in the boxes, stick them in a big box. All the paperwork and labelling in with them. These are going sight. These are good to go. And then I can do my next five, which are over here ready. I'm going to do these next five, then the next two today. So I can put them in a box and get rid of them because they fucking basically take up the whole floor. So yeah fun times uh but yeah th the main point is i'm not on site fucking around doing this why do this on site when i can do it here in two square meters why do it over two thousand square meters when i can do it over two square meters right that's it they all work they all come they're all speaking so when they get to the site tomorrow i should speak again but at least if they don't speak tomorrow i know it's not my problem so yeah now nah, dismantle it all there's going to be another five going that look exactly the same. Won't show again. That's going to be boring, but it'll be the same thing again. I've got another five over here that waiting to get tested. These are all going to get bagged up with all the gear. These are going to go to the site tomorrow and hopefully get them all fit tomorrow and at least get some of them ticking away and uh, doing the thing. So, yeah, success. No, no. I'm just splitting them all up. Yeah, all the test gear is going away back in its box. There's a couple more to do, but I don't want to trouble the guy today. They're all bagged up, ready to go, done and dusted. The reason they're in a the bag is. They go in a bag like that. If any of these little labels fall off, the fuses fall out, the links fall out, aren't no fuck anything falls out. It's still in the bag when I get to site. Yeah, good quality polythene bags aren't expensive. And I also bring them back and reuse them. So I don't use about time the old job. So yeah, I'm just, uh, just tying everything up now, making sure it's all in the bag. And uh, tomorrow's first day on site. I don't know if I'll be able to record though, because it's not my fucking site, is it? But we shall see if we can record it that letting too much away. That's it. Just bring the garage. Dog wants to go in. Head to dog. First time a dog's been self-employed dog. Just with the garage, I've got 
the tools I think I need, last day I think I need, and all there is to do now is go to the first site tomorrow and see if I've got it right. Well, right-ish. I'll accept right-ish. As long as I don't forget like something stupid like I don't know. Fucking drill. Shit. Yo, self employed blog. It is Wednesday the 8th of January and I'm on my way to fit the first metre. Fit the first five metres. They're in the back of the van. Put all the tools in there last night. I'm not too fussed. I've got all day today, all day tomorrow. And if I want, I've got all day, every fucking day for one. Because whatever ends up in the van getting used today will stay in the van. Whatever doesn't get used will come out of the van unless it's a spare. And then I'll thin it right down. I got a bit excessive today, I think. Also, I've got a lot of meters to carry around. I need to tie the van out a bit. But I think I've got all the right tools. They've got the right gear. I haven't brought all the technical stuff because I'm going to do that bit tomorrow. The commission, the, the site check commission and the paperwork tomorrow. I'm obviously having loads of shit in the van. But if I get it right today, I'm laughing. If I get it wrong, I'll just do it tomorrow. It's not a fucking drama. I can't expect miracles on the first fit. Also, don't like carrying every single tool in the world around there. So I'm not doing that. So yeah, I've got what I need in the van to do the job. And hopefully I've got everything I need. There'll be no surprises. They'll go in today. They'll get commissioned tomorrow. And we're fucking off. And it's streamlined. Then I can streamline all my tools up a little bit. And I'll, uh, and off we go. But yeah, there you go. And also I realised... Um, I left my old company that, that generate the energy firm in, at the end of January, I think. I think it was the end of January. Let's check that. Basically, it's almost a year from the first initial inquiry about this job to today is about a year. So there you go, like, don't fucking... When you put a quote in business, don't expect it to ring you back that week or that day or that month. Uh, it's about a year to... And it took, I remember, it was about January, February time last year I got the initial inquiry. I must have then gone under the site visit. I can't remember that was, I could find out. I could have a look. Then there was rumblings about it happening, rumblings about it not happening. Then they asked in end of October, November, if I can get it done by the end of February. And now it's January. I'm starting the first install. So that's not an uncommon thing, I, I, I wouldn't say, um, for things to go like that. It's not an uncommon thing for to go like that. Uh, the record I've got is, I once installed some fibre optic cabling at a sugar factory. Well, I'll take your jeans to work out what that was for. And from the quote to starting on site, it was two and a half years. That's that's my that's my record, so yeah. But um, see how we get on. I might put a bit of video in here from going in. I'll maybe cover all the problems in this video, though. See you a bit, you c And everything. And I got too much. And everything. Went in. Cables were a bit tight. But they've all gone on. There you go. The end. Well, not the end. This is the start of the install. But you know what I mean. <laughs>